everyone and welcome to the third in my best of 2015 series. This is all about clothing, accessories, which are really jewelry, and a purse or two. I'm gonna start with clothing and I'm just gonna insert a lot of pictures here to make this easier for everyone. So there were four stores that I bought 99.9% .9 of my clothing from this year and they were Ann Taylor, Loft, Target, and a few pieces from Nordstrom. So for me, when I need something right away and I don't want to figure out if it's going to fit me or not, I go to Ann Taylor and Loft because their sizes, once you figure out what they are, run true all the way through. So for me, jeans and denim are um, my favorite things to get from the Loft particularly and sometimes from Ann Taylor. My, my personal size, I'm a size 4 modern fit, which means more straight up and down. In their world, I am not a curvy girl, so thank you Loft and Ann Taylor for making me feel better about my body, even though I know that I am curvier. Um, anyway, they're always having sales. Their clothes hold up really well. They um, are very classic usually, and a couple things that I get there constantly are sweaters and um, denim, jeans, pants, that kind of thing. So those are my favorite. As far as sweaters go, Ann Taylor cashmere v-neck sweaters were my favorite things to wear this year. I wore them all as from the minute it gets cold until probably too far into the season. I wear them at least twice a week. I sleep in them sometimes. They're super comfortable. They hold up pretty well and their sales are amazing. From Loft, I have been a huge fan of their um, v-neck fuzzy sweaters. I just bought three in the last month. Um, you may have seen that in a vlog. I adore them. And the other thing I want to mention about the Loft is I was recently, not recently, in April, I went to a big bloggers conference and the vast majority of the women there were fashion bloggers. So big into the couture stuff and very creative and fancy and trendy and all that. And I, almost my entire wardrobe for that weekend was from Loft. And I received so many compliments on my clothes, on my outfit choices. I just got a little giggle out of that, thinking about how little I had spent on what I was wearing. And I was getting as many, if not more compliments, some of the women were wearing, you know, couture. So um, love the loft, love that I can get trendier pieces and some classics at good prices. Then there is Target. So I would say, even before Loft and Ann Taylor, I go to Target to find clothing. They're a great place for basic pieces. And again, denim there is has really improved. I, I've always worn uh, Massimo denim from Target in the past, but they rebranded and come out with some new stuff. And the denim is even better. It's softer. They have more trendy cuts. So they are my go-to for like boyfriend jeans, jeggings, that kind of stuff. I bought a lot of pieces this year from them. The other thing I get at Target, um, I stock up on like crazy. My favorite are the boyfriend v-neck t-shirts, the short sleeve t-shirts. I think I have them in almost every color that they make. They are my, my summer wardrobe staple. I can pair those with any kind of pants and some funky jewelry and I have an outfit. And then the last thing that I get from Target that I adore is what I have on that you can't see, which are their pajamas. Yes, I am wearing pajama bottoms right now. Their pajamas from the Gilligan and O'Malley line are amazing. I have some higher end stuff and I reach for the Gilligan and O'Malley brand every time. The softest material I have ever found in a pajama. My particular favorite are their sleep pajama leggings or pajama pants because they have a wide band around the ankle that's it's not elastic, but it's it's closer fit, so it's not gonna leave those lines in your ankles, but that way when you go to sleep at night, your pants don't ride up your leg. Let's talk about Nordstrom. So I have never shopped the Nordstrom, is it the anniversary sale? The one that's at the end of July, beginning of August. Never shopped it before. Didn't give it a second look. This year, somehow I got their catalog. Oh my gosh, why? Why have I never shopped there before? I'm never making that mistake again. So I did buy quite a few things. And one of the things I bought that I love, I'm wearing right now, it's this tunic top from a brand, I think it's called Pleon, Pleoni, I will list it. I have two of them. And these are tun tunic tops, they're very lightweight, they're very loose fitting, you can tuck them in, you can wear them long over leggings or jeggings, uh, you can layer pieces over it. These are great under a cardigan, under a vest, what have you. Um, they come in a variety of colors. They have short sleeve ones for summer. And I'm going to pick up some for the summer. I love these. I think they're very flattering, especially in women of a certain age. I can track 
the links that are used. I can't see who uses my links, but I can see like what the most popular items were. And this was one of the top 10 most clicked on item for me in 2015. So I guess you guys like it as much as I do. Love this. All right, I don't have any shoes to talk about because the shoes that I loved the most in 2015 are no longer available, and that is me. But I will say they were the booties and over-the-knee boots that I picked up at the Nordstrom sale in July. So this July, if you see any shoes you like in the Nordstrom sale, I highly recommend that you pick them up. Okay, let's get on to my favorite topic, purses. So there were two purses that were new to me in 2015 that I adore. One is from Gigi New York. As you know, I have a huge love affair with Gigi New York. I have spent a small fortune there. I bought a lot of purses. But the one that stands out for me, this is more my summer bag, but just because of the color. This is the Teddy Tote. It's redesigned for 2015, meaning that um, it has the snap, but when you open it up, it has a large zipper pocket in the middle, and I can fit my smaller laptop in there. And it's great for travel because it has that zip up middle section and then it has zip, a zip pocket on the inside and two um, slot pockets up here. And um, I just, I, it's a good weight. It has the feet on the bottom. Ooh, it's dirty. Um, I love the Gigi New York brand. I think their quality is amazing. They are releasing new colors for spring. And I can tell you right now, if they release this in a blush color, I am buying it because it is just it's a great bag. The other purse that um, I love, the other brand I really got into was Elaine Turner. Unfortunately, most of the bags that I have that I wore all year are no longer available except one, and it is on sale. I think it's like 45 or 50% off, if not more, so grab it. This is the Celeste Satchel, and I've talked about this a lot. This is not a stranger to my channel. Um, it has a little handle up here, so you can wear it under your arm. Actually, this fits over your shoulder. You can wear it on your shoulder. It also comes with a detachable and adjustable strap, so you can make it a shoulder bag on top of this. You can make it a long crossbody bag, or you can put it through the loop on the bottom and wear it as a um, backpack, which I, when I've traveled, that's what I've done. This came with me to Palm Springs, and when we went hiking and up in the snow and the mountains and all that, I, I wore this as a backpack. So. I love, 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 love the Elaine Turner bag. And since we are talking ex bags and accessories, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my little poof. This is the black version from um, Bobble Bar. And I also have it in hot pink, and I just ordered a blue one as well. And um, I think I'm gonna order a red one because I think Jake's going to a college that has red as one of its colors, so. In fact, all the colleges he's considering, just on a side note, are all red, so can't go wrong with that purchase. Since we're talking about Bobble Bar, let's talk about Bobble Bar, shall we? It's no secret, I love Bobble Bar. I order a lot of stuff from them. They do send me stuff as well, but what I love about Bobble Bar are the prices are really reasonable. The quality is pretty good for what you get. Their customer service is great if things don't go well, which happens with every company. And they have sales constantly. So, I mean, who doesn't love that? And their shipping is free. So, and it's quick, it's really quick. So a couple of the things, um, I'll just talk about what I have on. And I did double check and these are all still on the website. So I've wear, worn this like the latter half of the year, I'd say. This is the cocktail druzy ring. It also comes in navy, which I might also buy. I mean, they're just, it was hard to pick, but I wear a lot of gray. So I went with this color. And then the other ring that is for sure the standout for 2015 is the crystal mason ring. And I usually wear the one in gold with clear stones, but I took it off somewhere in the house and I don't know where I put it. This is the silver one with blue stones. They come in a variety of colors now, silver, gold, and then the um, stones. I love this ring. I am a size seven in their rings and that will fit me on my middle finger and my index finger so that's pretty cool and if you turn it sideways so it runs narrower um i usually yep can fit it on my pinky as well so you get a lot of rings for your money there um other favorites from bobble bar i just want to point out that again if you see something on the bobble bar website that you like if you wait too long it will disappear and it will be gone for good um, so if you see something you like, grab it. These I saw on Makeup by Tiffany D. These are the phased out bangles, and I love these because they come off by hinge, so they can make them narrower, and it's an oval shape, so it fits closer to your wrist. So when you write, it doesn't like bang around and get annoying. Um, I love these, I wear these a lot. 
Um, I wear a lot of bigger statement necklaces, so I like to generally keep my earrings simple. So um, these came out around the holidays. These are the Tundra studs, and I like that these are very neutral, like a, like a like an old gold, like not a bright gold metal. And then the stones in them are a range of clear stones, iridescent stones, and a little bit of smoky quartz, it looks like in there, kind of a smokier stone. So they go with a variety, they're very neutral. They go with a variety of things. Um, other studs of theirs that I adore are the um, crystal tetra studs, which you cannot see very well. So that's why I'm inserting a picture. But what's really neat about them is that they have a little chain that dangles off the back and it's actually, the chain is attached to the backing. So when you're traveling or just whatever, you can't lose the backing because it's connected to the earring, which is very, very handy. Obviously, since I'm constantly losing things. Um, now, when I want to wear a statement earring, Bobble Bar knocks it out of the park. And this, late this year, they released the Niagara Drops, I think they're called. I mean, come on. I wore these in a video in December. They're stunning. If you think they look good on camera, you should see them in person. They are really cool. And again, pretty neutral color. You can wear them with a lot of things and they're very lightweight. So they're not gonna pull your ear down and, and hurt. So that, that's kind of key. Cause even if it's pretty, if it hurts, you don't wanna wear that. And then um, the necklace that I get the most compliments on out of anything I wear all year round, I literally get stopped on the street. People will, I need to like start handing out Bobble Bar business cards or something because everyone's like, where did you get that? What's Bobble Bar? So, but I don't, I don't have Bobble Bar <laughs> business cards. Anyway, this is the, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's a tassel necklace. I'll link it below. This shade blush, I think it's the color. These are leather tassels with a rose gold chain. They come in other colors as well, but this color is so unique. It's so beautiful against like a white top like this or any, I mean, it just, it goes well with black, with gray. It's a nice contrast. It'll look good against something pink as well. I love that it drapes down long and kind of falls down and elongates the body. That is kind of my preference. Speaking of long necklaces, I have, I think, five of these in different colors. This is from Kendra Scott. This is the rain necklace. It is a classic piece. I don't know what color this is called, but let's just call it bright pink, shall we? And um, what I love about this is the chain is a little bit adjustable, so you can determine where you want this to fall on you. I love the color options. You can choose different color metals. It now comes in rose gold, silver, um, I think hematite or like a, like a gray. The stone color, obviously, you can pick as well. I love the little tassel on the bottom because I like to play with it when I'm just sitting bored doing nothing. And I really love wearing this with my Target V-neck t-shirt in some fun color with one of these and a contrasting color on top. It hits me just the right spot. It elongates my body. It makes me look thinner and doesn't get stuck on the shelf up here. So really, really love this piece from Kendra Scott. And speaking of Kendra Scott, this definitely was the year I really got into Kendra Scott. I did a meetup um, at a Kendra Scott store here in San Antonio. The people there were so amazingly gracious and lovely and so kind. And I really got to explore the brand and um, I went shopping there myself and I picked up this necklace. Can't remember the name, but you know I'll list it. I love how delicate it is. You can easily layer it with other pieces like the rain necklace. I love the druzy um, part of it. It's really pretty. And I bought the matching earrings. Um, I also have these in, these are the Lee earrings. I also have them in platinum with a gray stone, but unfortunately I lost one of them. I'm always doing this. Uh, the good news is that Bobble Bar came out with the Druzy line of earrings, and I'm pretty sure they make a pair that looks identical to the Kendra Scott ones at half the price. So I'm ordering those to replace the platinum ones that I lost. And then the last brand of jewelry that I really got into this year is Kate Spade. And I regret during the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I didn't buy these earrings then. I thought about it, and then by the time I got around to it, they were sold out. Um, I don't know the names of these, but you know I'll list it. These are from Kate Spade. These are giant sparkling studs. They're like fire, like iridescent, all kinds of colors, just beautiful, so pretty, pretty big size too. And then I also got um, these black ones, and these are really cool because they're black, but they have little pinpricks of rainbow colors. Just every color in the rainbow is in there very pretty and um, so they're black but they're colored so you have a variety of things you can wear them with and I like having options. I'd say that's like my philosophy in life. I like having options. 
So those were the vast majority of my clothing, accessories, and jewelry favorites for 2015. I'm fairly certain that I have forgotten something. I will be writing an accompanying blog post to this and I will list all that as well with some pictures. And if I've forgotten anything, I'll stick it into the blog post. But as always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me in the comments below. I do read every comment. I can't answer every single one of them, but I try really hard to do that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Well, I'll see you sooner than that. But next week, next Monday, is my last of the Best of 2015 series, which is going to be on more lifestyle things like books, recipes, lifestyle type items. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Hey everyone and welcome to Flashback Friday or as I like to call it, where are they now? I did this series, I started this series a while back. I was the one who invented it back.